The American lawmakers visited the roof used to open fire at the former President Donald Trump. Post the analysis, they were pretty doubtful over the Secret Service's decision to not station its agent there. The Secret Service had earlier revealed that they did not station agents on the roof because the slope made it simply unsafe. However, the lawmakers have now claimed that they were able to walk on the roof without any difficulty whatsoever, which is what the shooter also did. As I'm up here on the building where the uh, suppose the sniper took a shot, it's not that steep at all. We just had a 70 year old man back here climb up on the uh, on the roof easily. See that water tower behind me? Had Secret Service or anybody had sniper teams up there, this guy wouldn't have made it. Um, five feet up this roof, um, he would have been taken out. Both Republicans and Democrats alike charged the Secret Service Chief Kimberly Cheetle demanding for her immediate resignation or the breach. Cheetle, however, has refused to step down. The Republican representative Mike Turner said that President Joe Biden needs to quote unquote fire her immediately. This comes as Cheetle admitted that the agency failed in its mission to prevent the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Now, Cheetle made the admission before the House Oversight Committee in Washington, D.C., where she faced investigation or security lapses and missed opportunities during Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. She called the incident as the agency's most significant operational failure in decades. The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse of our agency. We are fully cooperating with ongoing investigations. We must learn what happened and I will move heaven and earth to ensure that an incident like July 13th does not happen again. And our correspondent Susan Terani has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report from New York. Listen. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle faced intense scrutiny at a House Oversight Committee hearing on Capitol Hill over the agency's failure to protect former President Donald Trump from a would-be assassin in Butler, Pennsylvania. Cheadle acknowledged the agency's failure but provided few answers deflecting questions with bureaucratic language. She downplayed the shooter's suspicious behavior, saying an individual with a backpack or rangefinder wasn't necessarily a threat. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle were united in their criticism and have now in a letter called for her to resign immediately. Cheadle said that an internal investigation will take about 60 days and she'll have more answers after that. But lawmakers were not satisfied. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.